in one community meeting I attended, when someone asked like what the solution to the problem was, I was standing next to a police officer and I overheard him remark, drop a bomb. That's how out of control and uh, dangerous the neighborhood was seen. We're a family. They've been around here in the community for, oh, I don't can't even tell you how many years they've been around here coming to help Mark, his wife, and uh, different other little people like you all, you know, helping with the little kids, bringing the grocery, calling, checking on the sick, you know, and the elderly people. At the same time, something else is happening which makes this threat even more real. The gentrification exploding on Massachusetts Avenue leading into uh, kind of the Union Station Capitol Hill area. Northwest One, as it existed, was one of the most low-income neighborhoods anywhere in this country. Um, probably no one in that neighborhood made more than $20,000 legally. The poignancy of that is extreme because essentially from this neighborhood you can look up and see the U.S. Capitol just four or five blocks away. Um, so this is a pocket of extreme poverty right next to one of the centers of power in the entire world. The juxtaposition of the, the poverty and desperation with the affluence and privilege um, and power is heartbreaking. To focus on that neighborhood is inevitably to focus on the unkept promises of this country. There were several key elements of this. The most important was that you would build first. You would build new housing in the neighborhood first so that when you had to tear down other housing and thus displace uh, folks, people could move directly into a new home in their own neighborhood. It turned out that this would be the most difficult part of the promise to keep. they will never return to Northwest One. Um, and the promise that was made by the city of Washington, D.C. was that they would never have to leave.